to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Vicky and I am here to talk to you guys all about laser hair removal now if you are new here and you don't know nothing about me we are all about body positivity loving our bodies and learning how to take care of them the best way possible for years now I have been talking about all things body care related um, everything from my period and my vagina to booty acne um, the hair under your arms, on your face, in between your legs, I mean pretty much anywhere. If you have been on this channel at any point between like 2015 to now, you've heard me talk about my body in some way, shape, or form and I am not shy. So if you are uncomfortable with talking about body hair or anything like that, this is not the video for you. But if you do want to know about hair removal, my process with hair removal, and what I recommend as far as laser hair removal goes, I am happy to give you all the information that I have accumulated over my experience over the past couple years of getting laser hair removal. So I want to share that with you guys. I have a VTalk playlist where I talk all about periods and things like that. And I also have laser hair removal playlists as well where you can watch all of my initial videos of my reactions and my first appointments going to get laser hair removal um, when I started this process about three years ago. Started getting laser hair removal in 2019 and it went on through the pandemic up until now so I'm very happy to share my results and all of the different places I've been to and things that I've learned along the way. First things first, I started off with my face. I was getting like chin hair and I've always had a mustache but um, the chin hair was just starting to really get on my nerves and I noticed that when I tried to remove it I was getting dark spots and things of that nature and I was just not happy with how it was looking and because at the time I was doing so many beauty videos on YouTube I used to do tons of makeup tutorials and things like that there was always an HD camera in my face so I needed to make sure that my skin looked the best I started the process at La Piel Laser Center which is in Chicago they were super nice if you want to watch the video of me getting laser done at that location with the nurse practitioner Chloe I love her um, she's moved on from that center so she's not there anymore she has her own practice now I did several videos talking to her about the process of labor laser hair removal if you guys have any questions we answered a lot of the questions that you might have so if you haven't checked out that video be sure to do so I did I believe seven or eight sessions on my lip and chin and after that I've just had to get touch-ups I love my results I mean my face looks great I do still get a little bit of peach fuzz on this side as a reminder laser hair removal is semi-permanent the results vary from person to person but the results are not a hundred percent when I say that I'm not saying that it didn't work it did work it gets rid of the annoying hair it gets rid of that hormonal growth that is very obvious. I may get one or two hairs. Very very thin though, very very light. You can't really see it unless you're really up close and in the event that I do get hairs um, I just knock them off with those shaver things and I just shave it off um, and then I go get a touch up. I've only gotten a touch up, like I said I started the process in 2019 so I've only done two touch ups on my face so far. Um, as far as the results go I have not gotten any breakouts or dark spots in those areas which is great because before when I was waxing and shaving I was getting more acne in that area and I was it wasn't really acne it was like more high, like hormonal bumps and hair bumps I haven't had any ingrowns the pain level was about a five on the face um, but when I get to talking about the other laser hair centers that I've been to we're gonna address pain because what I've noticed is pain levels varied depending on which laser center I went to. Definitely look up the prices online. Their prices are available online which I like. They're very transparent about their pricing because um, some laser centers like I said will get to the others. Some of them don't show their pricing up front. So I do like that LaPiel gives you their whole pricing breakdown on their website if you wanted to see how much any of the sessions may cost you. After I was pretty much halfway done with my face I decided to move to my stomach um, and so I got my full stomach done. As far as the results go I have not had any hair. I think I had maybe like four sessions on my stomach and nothing grew back. I haven't gotten any touch-ups on my stomach at all. I think I've maybe had one or two hairs that were very very fine very very light and I just hit it with a razor and it was gone and it 
doesn't grow back. Um, y'all know this. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love to wear my stomach out. I am a stomach out gal. I'm from, I was born in the 90s, okay? So I've been wearing my stomach out since then. Um, I stayed at La Piel through my face, stomach, and I started my Brazilian. So I did my full Brazilian and full butt, which I showed you guys. My initial reaction, y'all saw me screaming on the table. Keep in mind, I have a very high pain tolerance, so the fact that that hurt, um, says something. I also talked about booty acne. If you guys have seen that video, it has like a million views. I never thought that me talking about my booty acne would be intriguing to people or helpful or whatever it was for you. I'm glad that I could help somebody because I remember going through just this phase of my life where I was really self-conscious about my booty. It was uncomfortable, it was painful, and I needed to do something about it. So um, the only thing that helped with the booty acne was laser hair removal and I am happy to come to you today. I am happy to sit here and say I have not gotten any breakouts or bumps or irritation, no folliculitis, no dark spots. The dark spots have pretty much um, brightened and lightened. My booty is all one color now, which is great. So I'm very, very happy with the results. If you had seen that video and you wanted to follow up and wanted to know if laser worked for me in that area, it absolutely 100% did and I highly recommend it. Um, or any area on your body, if you have folliculitis on any area of your body, laser will probably help. It's treating the hair at the root, so it's getting rid of the potential ingrowns and regrowth that may cause any irritation. So I'm so happy that I did laser hair removal on my butt. Like it's probably been the best decision I've ever made because I can sit down in comfort. Um, I can wear bikinis now and feel great about myself. It's just been a blessing. <laughs> the Lord heard my cry. I did eight sessions on my Brazilian and my butt. I believe my last session was last year, last summer, I wanna say. I did one touch up last month. The hair on my butt did grow back. It did not grow back like it used to. It wasn't thick at all. And I didn't really get any breakouts on my butt. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any issues. So I did get a touch up. My bikini line, however, my bikini line looks amazing. It looks amazing, girl. Like, okay, my, I wish I could show y'all. But I can't. There's no dark spots, no ingrowns. I haven't gotten any. I haven't gotten an ingrown on my bikini area in a year or two. Like it's been a long time. Uh, the hair on my bikini line has not grown back. I haven't noticed any growth there. The only place I've noticed growth is like okay, so <laughs> this is your vagina, right? So there's like that top part that's like where your panties may sit. No hair there. Looks great. No dark spots. Nothing. But the bottom part of the vagina this part down here where your little clitoris and stuff is at the the lips the labia that part does consistently have hair on it it's not super super thick though and it's not super coarse it's very smooth hair so I don't find it to be annoying until it gets long and then I do trim it but it takes a long time for it to grow out that long and it's only in that spot it's only around I think that's just because like your lips are like protecting your most sensitive part of your body, which would be your clitoris. It's not that big of a deal to me in that specific area, just because I know what the hair does. But it's not like super thick or anything to where it's irritating. It's not poking through my panties like it used to. <laughs> so as long as that's not happening, I'm Gucci. And like I said, I haven't gotten any ingrowns. So even though the hair does grow back down there, there's no ingrowns. So it's a lot better than what it was. In between me getting my Brazilian done at La Piel. I was also going to a new place, Laser Away, reach out to me, and they were offered to give me services in exchange for me sharing um, on social media. So obviously I wasn't gonna turn that down, but I also still had love for La Piel, so I wasn't gonna like completely abandon them. So I still kept going to La Piel to honor my package that I got, because I did pay for it. And I also started going to Laser Away. So Laser Away is also located in Chicago. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm in Chicago. Um, when I first started looking up laser hair removal places, Laser Away was top on my list because they had reached out to me before. Uh, at the time when they reached out to me, there was only locations in other states. There were no locations in Chicago yet. Um, when they reached out to me, and said that there was a location in Chicago, I wanted to go because one, that was the first place that I had looked up that I wanted to go to that had the laser that I needed for my skin tone. And I'd heard really good things and seen all their posts on social media. So I wanted to go just to check out 
you know the place and see how it was and if it lived up to my expectations i decided to go for my legs they only let me do one service for in exchange for posting and the first time i did record that so i showed you guys the process of meeting my legs done and if you saw in that video the laser that they use at Laser Away is much different than the laser that was used on me at La Piel. The laser at La Piel, the, the actual pulse of the laser wasn't as fast, but I feel like the pulse at La Piel was stronger, like much stronger and more aggressive than the one at Laser Away. Because the one at Laser Away just felt like a little tink, tink, tink. See, see, you know what I mean and it went pretty fast like she went over each area very quickly like this whereas with La Piel it was like chikong, 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 chikong. <laughs> what is that noise it, that's how it was it was like a stab 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 whereas with laser away it was like a pinch 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 it wasn't too aggressive and it wasn't too painful where I couldn't bear it I feel like the results that I got were a lot quicker at La Piel than at laser away but it was a different area. So I don't know if the growth patterns are different on your legs than on your bikini. The the regrowth and the, the um, frequency of growth of hair depends on your body. It depends on what area you're getting done. And it depends on what kind of laser is used to. So quite honestly, you're still gonna go for all your sessions. Like even if you go for two sessions and you don't have any hair, you still gotta keep going to all your sessions. Every time you go get laser done, you're treating a different cycle of hair. It's not the same hair. So you still have to go for all your sessions anyway. So how quickly the hair falls out or whatever doesn't necessarily matter. I'm just saying from my observation, the lasers that laser away were much, 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 much less painful and they had more of a cooling sensation than the one at La Piel. The one at La Piel felt like a lot of heat um, and the one at Laser Away felt like more of a cooling tingle stab. The results have been really good, but like not having to shave your legs is like the best feeling ever. I don't know what it is. It's so much different. Every area is different because there's a different thing that I'm more excited to not do. With my face, it was like, okay, I don't have to get waxed and threaded anymore on my face. Amazing. Then with my stomach, it's like, dang, I don't have to shave my stomach so I can wear my stomach out whenever I feel like it. Yes. Then with my Brazilian, it's like, yes, I'm always ready. I'm always ready ready and then like my booty it's like yes I can sit down and not be in pain and it feels great my booty smooth yes love that for me but with my legs I can go on vacation and not have to worry about stubble all summer I'm just out here skin out legs out and not thinking about oh shoot I gotta shave my legs like that's such a great feeling and I feel like my skin looks a lot better um, a lot of the dark spots that I was struggling with and ingrowns that I was struggling with don't have those problems anymore but with my legs although they are very smooth and you can't see the hair uh, when you're out in the sun, you can kind of see like it's almost like it's blonde, but it's not blonde, but it's so thin. If you're up on my legs and you're feeling on me, you may be able to feel some hair, but it doesn't feel nearly as bad or look nearly as bad as it did before. Um, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, I probably shave maybe once every couple months and it's only in certain specific areas like around my knee, my inner thigh. That hair is more hormonal there, so I do grow uh, peach fuzz kind of hair there. I do need to get a touch up on my legs soon so that probably will take care of that the more that I keep getting touch ups. But as far as my legs go I did do the full seven, six or seven treatments and I love my results. As long as it's not that long thick mess that could be braided when it grew out. I don't care. When I did reach out because I was going to you know start a new package or a new plan to get my touch up done and to get my underarms, start my underarms. When I reached out to Laserway and asked for pricing, because they don't have pricing on their website, it was a little bit confusing as to what I was paying for because they gave me a package and they said it would be like $4,000 or something like that. And I have to do like a payment plan and they're gonna take out a loan and all this stuff. And I was just like, that seems excessive. And had I known that prior to going to get my legs done and sharing that with you guys online and kind of like promoting it, I would have been a little more hesitant to go there and promote it because I not that it's anything bad it's just to me I feel like I like to see like the payment plan up front I like to see what I'm paying for how much each session costs individually I want to be able to get a session on its own without having to buy like six of them at a time because I don't want to take out a whole loan you know have them run my credit just to get laser personally that's how I feel 
Um, if you've been to Laser Away and you haven't had to do that, let me know in the comments. Maybe that's just me. I was looking online and I saw that um, Sev Laser, which I don't know if you guys follow them, but I've seen their posts before. I've seen that Lori Harvey goes there. Um, they have locations everywhere and I've heard great things because their pricing is so good. They have the same lasers that Laser Away does, but the pricing is much better. And I was always like intrigued about that because I'm like, why is it so cheap? Like I'm skeptical when things are cheap. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but it's like, okay, why are you giving me the discount? Like what's the catch? I saw that they had a new location in Chicago. I think they just opened it. And since I had already had all these sessions done, um, on my body I felt like I'm at the point now where I know my body's not gonna react negatively to the laser so I have nothing to lose instead of going to laser weight I made an appointment at Sev and I went there a month ago for my first appointment right before we went on vacation for our anniversary I went for a touch-up because I needed to touch up on my booty and I was like dang I don't want to go back to LaPiel because my girl Chloe not at LaPiel no more and they lasers hurt like AG double hockey sticks and I also don't want to go to laser because they're gonna charge me four thousand dollars I'm gonna go to Sev and see how they do I scheduled an appointment for my Brazilian my full butt underarms as well and all of that came out to like two hundred dollars three hundred dollars what I loved about booking with them is that their prices were all online which I appreciated like I didn't have to purchase a package so I didn't have to do like a package of six just to get a touch up done which I like that option better because I don't like being locked into something so when I was going to LaPiel to get my Brazilian and butt done it probably took an hour um, which is a long time to be laying on a table getting your vagina stabbed going to Sev I was done with my underarms my Brazilian and my full butt in 15 minutes so a whole 45 minute difference seems like a lifesaver to me and it's cheaper and while I was getting my butt done she added in a little bit of my lower back too and was like oh it's fine I'll just do that too and didn't charge me for it I had my second session for my underarms last week and I had my underarms done and my lower back done I did pay for both I was in and out of there all of 10 minutes like didn't take long at all at Sev I feel like their lasers are very similar to the ones that laser away didn't feel it at all no pain I don't know if I said this but when I went for my first appointment at Sev and got my Brazilian and my butt done I felt nothing like I wasn't even uncomfortable um and that in comparison to what I was feeling at La Piel falling off the table crying cussing screaming with the high pain tolerance that I have I feel like says a lot. So like I said, no disrespect to La Piel. I love the people there, they're very sweet. I just want y'all to upgrade y'all lasers. Laser Way and Sev had me feeling like I'm invincible. Out of all of the places that I've been to thus far, overall, I feel like my best experience has been at Sev. And the reason why I say that is because of the pricing, the transparency of prices online, um, the ability to book appointments, one by one instead of booking full packages. You can book packages if you want to, but you don't have to, and I love that option because I don't like to be forced to do nothing. And just the quickness, you know what I'm saying? The snappiness. And this has nothing to do with laser, but Seth be posting scriptures on their page. So I feel like, if anything, they love Jesus, and that is a win for me. I think that's all I had to say about my experiences at all of my laser appointments like I said haven't had any negative reactions no burning no dark spots no scarring nothing like that if anything all of that has gotten so much better since I've been getting laser done folliculitis is gone which is great so I don't have booty acne anymore and I just feel sexy I'm ready for anything if I need to put on a bikini tomorrow I would not be nervous you know what I'm saying like I wouldn't be like oh shoot I need to shave this shave that pluck this pluck that nope I'm a free bird and I feel great because laser hair removal is not permanent based on your hormones there may come a time where my hormones may change and the hair might all grow back but I still feel like even though there is that possibility I don't think it'll ever be as bad as it was when I was just shaving or when I was just waxing. Um, if it does, I'll let you know, but so far I haven't noticed anything, any reversion of that kind of nature. The hair that I've seen grow back, like I said, has been very manageable, not irritating at all, very, very, very mild hair growth. It's like, it's like the kind of hair growth that I wish I had growing up where like you see other people who have hair on their legs and stuff and you can kind of see it in the sun 
but it's not um embarrassing like it would be if like I like I felt when I had like full grown man hair on my legs. I will keep going to get laser hair removal as long as it's working for me and I really only will need to go every now and then. After I finish my underarms, I think I'm gonna be done with my body and I feel so good about that. It's worth the money. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that I answered any questions that you may have about laser. If there's any more questions that I did not answer, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and if you guys have any more suggestions for videos that you want me to talk about, self-care, body care, anything like that, if you haven't seen my old videos, check them out. But if you wanna see something new, let me know what you're looking for and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in my next one.